All right, guys, we're at ISC West. We had to arrive early at the Anaxis booth. It's been really crowded, but now we have the chance to meet Luke. Luke, how are you doing? Hi, guys, I'm good. How are you? Jay? I'm, I'm great, I'm great. And all this solution right here, I want to know more about it. So why don't we start right away with? Sure. So to start with, Inaxis, as you know, is a uh, global manufacturer and distributor of certain products. And uh, we're here down here in the U.S. because a lot of the products we sell are specifically designed for, yes, both Canada and the U.S. market. And a lot of this stuff for the U.S. market can kind of change the game for a lot of our dealers. And this is a perfect example. So anybody who does, you know, access control systems or uh, access control with, you know, looking to have locking systems, well, we custom make these cabinets. These cabinets, okay. we can custom design them. You tell us what you want in them. We will pre-mount all of your access control gear, power supplies for your strikes, pre-wire everything together, plug it in because we've got the 120 volt here, and basically it will come out of the box ready to go. So a dealer doesn't need to do all the installation themselves. They literally put it together, they design it for us. We all, we put it all together, we wire it in, comes out of the box, put it on the wall, good to go access control systems. So these are kind of custom made items that, you know, for us, it's a game changer. It takes a lot of the guesswork out. It takes a lot of the guesswork for the dealer out. All of a sudden the dealer can design the system, have us do all the work and it's out of the box ready to go. So this is uh, for us, it's kind of a, a unique product. It's something that we do in house. Uh, this is for the access control side. Now, when it comes to manufacturing, one of the things we do is we manufacture our own cameras. So our Legend brand is a fully NDAA compliant product line, which means all of the recorders, all of the cameras are fully NDAA and we have everything from mini domes to turrets to bullets to one of the coolest new products. This is a pan tilt zoom camera, which actually has a massive pan tilt zoom camera on the bottom and a fixed four megapixel at the top. Now the goal is if you want to do auto tracking, that's perfectly good, but you also want to do tag and track where the fixed camera is actually the controller and it can pinpoint multiple different people. So it pinpoints them. This is you, a person one, two, three, four, and it can then assign its own PTZ regardless of the NVR. It does it in-house within the camera and it can assign the PTZ to then tra track and follow individuals in the image, one to the other. So kind of a, a really cool product in addition to our line. And like you said, this is on the camera itself, so no NVR. It yep, analytics on the edge. Okay. So even if you're using a standard NVR, a standard NVR for recording and for playback, well, this camera can do the tag and follow directly on the camera itself. So when you add multiple of these cameras to a pan tilt zoom si uh, situation where you have, uh, for example, a parking lot, it becomes a very powerful tool in your in your portfolio. Yeah, I can see many applications for a dual lens like this one. We're pretty happy with this one. <laughs> um, obviously, we've got all kinds of other cameras, you know, regular PTZs, we've got bullets, we've got everything. That's a regular PTZ? I mean, uh, well, I don't see many PTZs with that kind yes of Yes and no. So what's become more and more popular, especially in the US for, uh, for example, for um, uh, car dealerships is active deterrence. So active deterrence, of course, you know, seeing a camera, that's an active deterrence. Because the moment you see a camera, you know you're being recorded and it's a way to, uh, or a lot of people, if they're gonna commit a crime, they see it and they're like, oh, I'm not gonna do this. But we wanted to step it up a notch. So we've got an entire brand, an entire line within Legend, which has these active deterrence. So this is an example. This is a pan tilt zoom camera and on the top of it we have a strobe and the strobe is a red and blue strobe so it literally just goes and goes and goes like and so like a police car that the... like a police car yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not a mobile police car it's a fixed police car <laughs> so if you didn't see the ptz first and you didn't know you were being recorded well now you know furthermore these cameras and most of all i think all of our active deterrent cameras also have talk down capabilities so they have built-in microphones and speakers or at the least line in line out for speakers so it gives you the ability to not just have a camera following people and a strobe visually showing that the person's being recorded but then you add the talk down capability and now you can literally be say hey guy get out of my parking lot it's kind of a cool little feature and all of our fixed cameras and our ptz's all of our active deterrent cameras have this capability yeah, that's great. Again, I see I see what type of application can benefit from such cameras and why it's becoming more and more popular, especially in the US. Especially in the US. Yeah. Now, of course, you know, you add to all the legend line, we have a full line of recorders, whether it's a four, eight, 16 channel recorders, we can pump it out into multiple different screens. They're really powerful machines. But over and above the standard legend recorders, which are of course NDA compliant, we have another brand. Uh, it's, it's our VMS called Archive. So come, come on over here and I'll take a, I'll show you this. Yeah, please. So Archive 
if ever you're doing a standard recording, you know, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64 channels, the alleged NVRs are perfectly fine. But the moment you start to have more than that, or you start to have multiple different recorders, it might be beneficial to go with something like Archive. Archive is a fully functioning VMS with onboard artificial intelligent analytics. Furthermore, we build our servers in-house at Inaxis because we're a manufacturer. So we can build our servers custom made to the customer's needs and then preload Archive onto it. And Archive is a VMS, unlimited size. You can do multiple different servers, have redundant failover archiving. You can have full onboard analytics like facial recognition, license plate recognition, obviously people tracking, yes, mm -hmm. that's one of the things. But then all the smart searches, tell me how many people in purple shirts were in this image kind of thing. It's, it's, it's full artificial intelligent analytics based upon metadata pulled off of the cameras. So it's kind of a deep learning VMS that just takes the information in and evolve with what you're given. That's right, it's like a human brain. As a person ages, they learn more and they're from their experiences and as they learn more, they get better at whatever they do. Well, in this case, this VMS is a learning algorithm. So the longer it's deployed, the better it can react. And we can actually tweak the rules a little bit. So we've, we've created custom algorithms for customers where they wanted very, something very specific that the software simply didn't do. So because it's a learning algorithm, we can teach it whatever we want and create a custom algorithm to meet the customer's specific needs. So kind of a really powerful tool added to this. So whether you're doing, you know, in video, a standard little four channel recorder with a couple of cameras or all the way up to, you know, a multi-site hundreds of cameras using the RVMS, we've got customers covered one way or the other. And what about the integration? So what type of camera works with Archive? It's a great question. It's not just cameras. So we have over 10,000 natively integrated IP cameras, analog recorders, or IP recorders. So Archive has the capability to leave the existing recorders in an existing application out in the field like hard drives in the field and then pull those NVRs or DVRs, old school DVRs too, pull them into the Archive scenario and actually add artificial intelligent search functions directly into these existing cameras. So even if you had an application where you had a chain of stores, you know, 200 chain of stores, a different recorder, whether it's a 15 year old analog recorder or a brand new IP recorder from some other manufacturer, mm -hmm. we can leverage that existing hardware bring it into the architecture, and now I can do facial recognition searches and license plate recognition searches wow. on existing systems. Pretty cool. So, yeah, it is, because now I have an old system. I want to keep up with like the offers on the market and the requirements for the government, let's say. So just having archive, I can pull out all my cameras and have analytics on them. That's right. It's a really cool application where you don't have to necessarily, necessarily rip and replace, which used mm -hmm. to be the matter yeah. that we did it, right? If you wanted to upgrade your system, well, you got to rip out the cameras, you got to rip out the recorder in most cases, you got to replace it with all new stuff. Well, that's not the case now. Now, if there is the newest and greatest camera, well, Archive, we continue to develop it, we continue to have software updates. Well, now you can leave the existing stuff and because we get updated free of charge, there's no SMAs with Archive, you can bring in the new cameras and their new functionality as well into that existing older school architecture. So yeah, so far as I see it, it's uh, you, you have the solution pretty much. Uh, pretty much we got it down, access, whatever right? you need. But there was one thing we were missing and actually this is, a, this is something we're kind of proud of. So uh, Inaxis is now officially the first and only exclusive distributor for the Americas for the SiteGuard Towers. So let me explain what SiteGuard Towers are. In Canada, we are an Ajax distributor. So Ajax is a very good partner for us in Canada, but the Canadian market is just a small portion of the market. For North America, for Central America, for South America, all around the world, Ajax is a great deployment because it's a wireless alarm system. But in applications where you don't have power, well, you need a hub and that hub needs power. So that's where the site guard towers become a very powerful tool. Site guard towers have a, um, a solar cell on the top, which can actually charge the battery. And inside of it is a NEMA 4 enclosure. The NEMA 4 enclosure inside, we can put a little hub here yeah, with sorry. a relay, a power supply, and a car battery in the bottom of this. So this is completely made of metal. It is designed to be an industrial application. And because we can have a hub inside, there's also a tilt switch. So if anybody ever tilts this thing and tries to steal it, we know immediately. We can uh, install them with either the hub in the middle or a repeater in the middle or with neither a hub nor a repeater. The reason is because Ajax goes uh, up to 2.1 kilometers on wireless, which is a huge distance. 
add repeaters into it, you can have a hub and spoke style system where you have a hub in the center and up to five repeaters on the outside. So you could have dozens and dozens of towers covering up to a 35 kilometer square distance. That's about 20 miles squared. It's a massive, massive coverage on a single panel. And because these things are solar powered, well, if you put a car battery in the bottom, it can last up to six weeks, even without power, even without sun. Now, just in case you throw them, you know, you, you have a mobile application where, you know, uh, you have a festival. Yeah. Well, the, 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 the situational uh, awareness of the festival, it changes from day to day. Sometimes you're going to need protection over here, sometimes over there, because the physical layout will change from day to day. Or a car dealership. Maybe they bring in, they have a, a flash sale and they bring in 200 cars and those cars are moving around in the parking lot. Well, Ajax, these towers, allow you to have a mobile and deployable and redeployable security application entirely wirelessly. So covering a massive, massive area, you can throw a standard hub down, a bunch of uh, uh, repeater hubs, and a bunch of sentry systems which don't have the actual panel or the repeater, and they're all connected back wirelessly to the main hub. So now you can deploy a massive wireless security perimeter entirely without power. It's really, really pretty slick. And if you ever need to power them, for example, if you throw the, uh, the systems into a garage and they're mm -hmm. sitting there for six months, well, there's a little plug in the bottom. You can actually plug it into the 120 to recharge the battery. Oh, okay, so you don't even need to remove anything. You just... You, you literally, we actually, uh, for the Canadian market, we can pre-install all of the Ajax stuff. So there's four, up to four cameras, one on each side. And these are uh, outdoor motion cams. We mm -hmm. can also do photo on demand where I can peek in and pull off an image. Yeah. Each one of these creates a perimeter, so 50 basically me a feet each way. And then to that, we have a siren on each side. And these sirens are up to 135 decibels, uh, 113 decibels of sound per siren. Plus there's a strobe on the, top, on the sides. It's a really, really noisy little, <laughs> little system. Uh, to that, you know, we've got standard feet. If ever you need to redeploy it, we can unscrew these, add on some uh, wheels, wheel it around, move it from one location mm -hmm. to the other, re-put it on its feet. It's made to be a, a deployable and redeployable, entirely self-contained wireless system. Not only that, but I mean, you even got the Ajax seal of approval right there, right? And that is a massive thing. This is the only tower right now that has the Ajax Ready logo, which means Ajax themselves have approved this tower, tested it and said, this is a real security product that Ajax approves of. The only Ajax Ready security tower. And an Axis is the exclusive distributor for these for the Americas. So if you've got a massive application, you know, whether it's a smaller dealership, a car dealership as an example, or a festival or a city or a construction site where you keep getting your, your cabling stolen. Well, these are the perfect solution at a really aggressive price come pre-installed, pre-programmed potentially from an Axis. We do all the work, you pull off the bubble wrap, you put it out, it's ready to go. <laughs> and now, I don't know if we can talk about this, but I also saw on this table that you yep. have a, an additional solar panel. So let me explain. Um, a lot in the US is very hot, yeah. but we're from Canada. It's very cold. <laughs> so one of the problems is when you have a flat solar panel like that, yeah. well, the snow can gather on top of it. So what we did is we created a winterization kit which has twice the solar panel. So you got solar panel on this side, solar panel on this side. And the goal is you replace that, the, the original top with this one and the snow sloughs off. So it's a winterization kit for these towers. So even if you live in Regina where it gets to minus a bajillion every single night and snow starts to build up, well, this will protect you. And I guess also having solar panels on both sides, well, it helps with the battery charging it up. That's right. So in the winter, I mean, if you're going to deploy these in California or you're going to deploy these in Texas, the standard one is more than enough. They never get snow yeah. and there's tons of sun. But if you're going to deploy these in a place like Regina where it snows a lot and it's cloudy or Vancouver where it's raining continuously, you're going to need as much sun as you can get. So that's why we've got two different solar cells, twice the power of the standard one. And we can retrofit any of the existing towers, the standard towers with this. Just an added okay. skew, grab it, replace the, the top, boom, you got a winterization kit, you're good to go. All right, Luke, let's say I want SideGuard, I want Archive, I want your cameras. How do we contact you guys? Best way to contact us, go to www.inaxis.com, send us a message. We're more than happy to give you any information you need. Or you can go to our uh, YouTube page. Just go to YouTube, go to inaxis.com, send us a message in there, leave some comments, and we're more than happy to give you any help you need. <laughs> well, thanks, and I hope you're Thanks, you Jeremy. Cheers, buddy.